Okay, now there is one thing you need to know about multiplication of salt. When it comes to salt and we are multiplying them, there is one thing you need to know. Okay, if you have root A times root B. Now you see let A and B represent an integers. Okay, now for this very one, we have to take a single root. You know, we are having root here, we are having root here. We have to take a single root. Okay, and again, we multiply the number, which is, of course, remember I told you that A and B represent an integers, and integers are numbers. Okay, for this one, A and B I will multiply because A times B. Okay, now A times B is going to be AB, because of AB, that will be the solution there. Okay, for example, if you have root 3 times root 5, root 5 times root 5, okay? Now what can you do here? We we'll simply take a single root and we multiply, as you say, 3 times 5, become root 15, root 15, okay? Can you see? Okay, another one again, if you have root uh, 5 times root 2, therefore, you still take a single root to become 5 times 2. 5 times 2. Okay, we have 10. We have root 10. Okay. Okay, now, this one is the first root under multiplication. Another one again, under multiplication, if you have A times root B. Now, I have omitted one of the, I have omitted roots from one of the, uh, from one of them here. Can you see we have two things? Now, A has roots, B has roots. Okay, now for a situation like this, the way I apply it here you know, will be different from this. The way I apply it here will be different from this. It means that for this one, I multiply the two uh, numbers, which of course the A and B. I multiply A and B. A and B represent uh, integers. Don't forget that. Okay? For this one, since we are having two things here, also A and B, but one of them has no roots. Okay? All well, I do, I can multiply this way the way I did to this very first one. I cannot do it like that. Okay? All well, I do, it means that A cannot multiply this B. That is just the same way like this. You cannot multiply just the same way like this. Therefore, the A needs to be outside because A roots B. That will be the solution. For well, a case like this, we call what A roots B. Now, for example, if you have 3 for this very one now, okay, let me remove the root, okay, let me leave uh, roots on 5, let me uh, leave 1 on 5. Okay, now for this one, all I do is now multiply. I'll now say t root 5. For this one, we call t root 5. The 3 cannot multiply the 5 because there is no root here. Okay? We cannot multiply both of them when they have a root. Okay? Now, for this one, we cannot multiply the 2 directly, just the way we did here. Okay? Now, we call what? 3 root 5. That would be the solution there. Okay, I think we understand this very well, uh, this very explanation, and uh, this is very uh, rule we have to apply in subsequent problem. Okay, thank you very much for joining me on this platform. I still remain my own boss, Jimmy Jungle. Please don't forget to like my page, Facebook page, Jimmy Jungle, online mathematics. And also subscribe to my YouTube channel, Mathematics Science Mega Tutorial. All the best.